people that did come here, they were all sick. Interesting, because I saw a lot of sick people, and I saw a lot of gurneys. So most of the people were kind of ODing on this. Yeah, instead of getting better, people might have killed themselves doing it. Oh, my gosh. We knew that the inn had been founded as a sanitarium, but we didn't know that these sick, dying people were still here. This is not the place for them. And they need to move on and find peace. So what else did you see? There were three different cliques of dead people. Elderly people, young adults, and juvenile delinquents. The leader of this elderly group of people was this guy who had white hair, and he was just very um, authoritative. Did you get a good look at this guy? I mean... I sketched the man I saw. He has a cane, he has a mustache and a beard, and he has very light, intense eyes. You guys take a look. To me, this actually looks like a younger version of Dr. Gray. Yeah. The expression looks the same. So, do you think that the guy with the cane is Dr. Gray? I think so, mm -hmm. yeah. When I saw the sketch and I compared it to the picture of Dr. Gray, I could feel my heart racing. I could hardly swallow. Why was he here? And were we doing something to upset him? Now, do these cliques do anything that can affect the people that are living? Oh, well, yeah. Uh, it'll just get worse and worse and worse. I'm thinking, oh, my God, what are we going to do? I've always wondered if I was truly safe here, and now I know that we're in big trouble. What else did you see? I saw people on the ground, and they were dead, and they, their bodies were bloated, so I got that they drowned. Well, that's easy enough to explain. This is French Creek out here, and there's been a lot of drownings associated with it. Two of those drownings actually took place right on the property. I saw this woman. She jumped inside of me. She was trying to make me go in the water and drown. Oh. What about the guests that go near the water? Could they be at risk? Yes. She's capable of jumping other people. I'm not afraid of water, but for some reason, I've never gone that close to the French Creek. Now, I know why. And we have canoes that we allow people to take out. We need to stop doing that. Larry and Brenda, you got hit with a lot of information today. Uh, the big question is, is it safe for you guys, your employees, and your guests to be here? Obviously, I think that the woman outside, she is possibly a threat to the living. So what I would recommend is to find a psychotherapist. But this psychotherapist also needs to be a medium. This individual should find out what's up, what's going on, why is she here, all of that. The second thing is to do a cleansing of this building to help with the removal of the three main cliques that are here. Then teach the housekeepers how to do this basic cleansing. And that one time, Per week, they incorporate it into their regular duties. Let me ask you, what about Dr. Gray? I wouldn't try to move him on, um, but if he chooses to go, then he can leave. He's not a threat? No. Once they do all this, do you think they'll be okay? When the reveal was over, we had to make sure that anything that was negative would see its way out the door. We hit roadblocks right and left, trying to find mediums, but then I got a lead on two ladies who not only are sisters, but they also counsel the dead. She said, I'm crying. I'm sad. Yeah. My child is gone, and I want to hurt people. They said the woman down by the water was hurting. Everyone goes through pain. Everyone has loss. We have to heal from that. We have to move on. You're just going to have to find peace and know that God is with you and to go into the light 
And we're going to help you with the power of the prayer. The psychic's made certain she doesn't suffer anymore and she doesn't make anybody living suffer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. It's time for you to leave. And then